ان الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وصلى الله على خاتم الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل ملائكه المقربين وعلى عباد الله الصالحين برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته my name is Sheikh Muhammad Awol I'm the founder and director of Zaytun Dawa Institute based in Seattle Washington United States of America uh, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making it easy for us today to be in the studio with you and to analyze some very vital information that is consistent with uh, the month of Ramadan. Today uh, inshallah I'm going to be looking at um, you know the wisdom behind the revelation of fasting. There is just one verse in the Quran that we quote all the time. We're going to be using that verse inshallah and we through that verse we're going to clarify some of the you know information that we need uh, the community and the muslim at large to understand uh, we know very much that uh, fasting is a very very rigorous uh, you know undertaking so therefore refraining from eating and drinking uh, and not having sexual intercourse or sexual relation with uh, our spouses is an act of worship uh, that is very good for our soul Uh, we know also very well that fasting uh, in the month of Ramadan is a great time to um, remember the spiritual connection we have to our physical body in conjunction with uh, doing the acts of righteousness yeah, righteousness which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made in, uh, in comment upon us so Allah in his wisdom he said in the Quran ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun then allah said ayyaman ma'duda i want you to analyze the verse very carefully o you who believe allah said ya ayyuha alladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam fasting is prescribed for you kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun just like it was prescribed for those who came before you that means fasting was prescribed not just for the muslims it was prescribed for those who came at the time of nuh at the time at the time of ibrahim alayhi salam at the time of moses and isa ibn maryam and the same fasting is being given to us why would allah give the same fasting la'allakum tattaqun so that we will be righteous So from the very beginning we understand that Allah does not eat. The angels do not eat. Allah want us to angelize ourselves, to spiritualize ourselves, to rise up from the base self of our, you know, uh, creation into a level that is so very close to himself because we know very well that if you eat you can never be the creator because allah does not eat and angels do not eat so the fact that you eat you are not the creator you are a creation and you need nourishment otherwise you can't live the life that allah had given to you to live on earth so fasting allah said it is for him but the wisdom of this verse is where allah said ayaman ma'duda It is just a few days and that is very true because if you look at 12 months in a year and you have just one month to fast in it definitely it is a small time it is just a speck from the whole 12 month you have just one month to fast it is not much a yaman madura just a few days you could do it Allah is encouraging us to let us understand even though we're going to be fasting but it's just a few days so we can bear with it so if we can bear with it that means we can do it but towards the end of this verse Allah said wa antasumu khairul lakum in kuntum ta'lamun you will hurry up and go and fast if you know the importance of fasting That means there are a lot of things inside fasting that we don't know. 
Some we know, some we don't know. Because that verse is giving us the understanding. If you know the wisdom, if you know the importance, the spiritual benefit, the physical benefit, the mental benefit of fasting, you will hurry up and go to fast. And that is exactly what is happening today. MashaAllah, um, I want us to... Uh, analyze the beauty of fasting or rather what is going on in our system when we begin to fast you know there is uh, uh you know the, the the digestive system each and every human being have a digestive system the system uh comprises of uh, organs that are responsible for you know getting food into and out of the body uh to make use of the food to keep the body healthy you know in other words it fuel the body it includes the following organs uh salivary system is part of the you know uh um you know digestive system then we have the glands the mouth you know the esophagus the stomach the liver the bile the intestine the rectum you know and few other you know part of our body that is responsible for a, you know a, a digestive system when we say digestive system these are some of the organs that are uh, uh, play a role in terms of, uh, you know, uh, uh, fueling our body when we begin to eat. If there is any time, I believe that your system, the digestive system, will say, Alhamdulillah. Or if there is any time that the digestive system of a fasting person will glorify him and pray to Allah to give him strength and give him long life, that time is when the person is fasting. Why? Because if you fasten, your whole digestive system is also fasting. Watch what happens when you begin to eat. Anytime you have food in front of you and you extend your hand into the bowl to get a muscle to eat, the moment you extend your hand, the brain informs the digestive system to get up because there is a job to do. Because the moment you put a muscle in your mouth, it goes to work. The esophagus, the, 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 you know, uh, uh, the stomach, the bile, the intestine, they all go to work grinding the food that you eat. Once you eat the food, there is a part that takes the nutritional part of it to the other side and the part that is not good to the other side, you know, uh, uh, the excrement goes this way, um, the water goes this way when it comes like a, ur a urine. And then we have the other part that comes as feces and all this kind of stuff. So all this thing goes to work and they keep working. Can you imagine if you eat in the morning? You eat in the afternoon, in between, you drink something, you eat some banana, you have some apple, you eat and eat. And then in, in, in the night, you got some meat, you got some chicken, you keep eating. That means your whole digestive system is continuously working. It is working. And anything that is subject to working all the time, it is also subject to wear and tear and get, you know, a, a, a broken down. The same thing applies to an engine. If you have an engine, it's working all the time, every minute, every second, it's going to break at some point. But if you take care of the engine, you don't use it all the time, it takes a long time to service you. That is exactly what a man is doing in his system if you eat. So if there is a time that your system will sing glory to you and praise, that is the time for fasting. Because if you fasting, your digestive system are also fasting. They get the time to rest. Because you don't use them. Just like when you have a car. And you take the car to um, a mechanic, you know, for some kind of realignment. Or some kind of tune-up. When you change the spark plugs, change certain few parts in the car. Once you come and spark the car with a key... It gives you a different sound because the oil is being changed. The spark plugs is being changed. It's being tuned up. The same thing applies to your system, your digestive system. Get some rest. So after the you know, 30 days or 29 days of fasting, you become a new, brand new person. That is exactly what Allah wants you to do. 
He created you. Allah said, وَلَقَدْ حَلَقْنَا لِإِنسَانِ وَنَأَلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسٌ وَنَهَانُ أَكْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ بِنْ حَبْلُ الْوَرِيدِ we are the ones that create mankind. We created him. We know how we feel. We know all his body mechanism feel because we are very close to him than his own juggler vein. So Allah is very close to you. And so he's the one to give you the right guidance. Yes, he's very close to you. If someone manufactures something, he put you know, a booklet of instruction. If you go contrary to the instruction, you fail. You might you know, destroy the, uh, the component. But if you follow the instruction, you become good. The same thing to the Quran. Allah gave us, Kutiba alaykum usiyam, kama kutiba ala lazina min kablukum la allakum tattakun. Just like if you go to the doctor. The doctor put a stethoscope on your chest. He checked you out. You know, he filled you. You open your mouth. He put temperature and thermometer, this and that. At the end, he realized or he knows what is wrong with you. Then he prescribed something for you. The same thing Allah said, Qutiba alaykum usiyam. I have prescribed for you something. And that something is fasting. Because if you fast, you get perfection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, among the wisdom uh, and the beauties of uh, waking up for Taraweeh also is that, you know, when you wake up for uh, Taraweeh, the wisdom is that um, you're going to be listening to the recitation by the Imam and that will increase your understanding of the Quran also. And if you uh, become part of the Taraweeh, you know, uh, during the month of Ramadan, uh, uh, if your recitation is not clear, but once you hear the imam reciting, it will make you to fix the, uh, the part that, you know, you recite that is not correct. So you could get the correct, you know, pronunciation. And if you are constant in your taraweeh, number one, you're going to get a lot of blessings. Number two, you're going to be around people. It harmonizes, it, uh, you know, uh, kind of identified you with the whole community. You tend to say salamu alaikum soon after the salat. You get to, you know, know a lot of people that are in the neighborhood that you don't know. Because Islam is all about being together, loving one another, acting the same thing. And the Messenger of Allah, Allah should I tell you something that is very important in your life? Say salam among your, um, I mean, among yourself. If you keep on saying salamu alaikum amongst yourself, uh, definitely, um, you know, uh, Allah will, you know, build that bond of love and uh, equity among yourself. And there is uh, one uh, hadith that I want to uh, pop in here. Abu Huraira reported that the Prophet ﷺ said, um, all the deeds of Adam's uh, children, you know, belongs to them. You know, whatever you do in this dunya, all the deeds that you do, it belongs to you because you're going to get the blessings and, uh, you know, the reward belong to them except fasting which belongs to me, Allah says, they, there is only fasting belongs to Allah, even though we fasting, but it belongs to Allah. Can you imagine if you fasting for Allah, Allah said, fast for me, and you fasting, the blessings that comes out of that, you can't even quantify it. Allah said, it belongs to me, and I will reward it. So how is Allah going to reward this fasting? We don't know exactly, but we can have an idea that we're doing something good for Allah. Allah is going to reward it. But that reward belongs to Allah also. It is something that he's put for you sort of like a bonus. You know, it's a bonus, something like a plus that Allah has put for you in the Yom Al-Qiyamah. Once you go, it's going to add up on your mizan, the scale of hasanat, of good deeds. So you're going to ask Allah, Ya Allah, uh, what is this huge, you know, uh, deed that I just, good deed that I've just fallen in my scale? Allah will say that is the fasting that you fast. So clearly, from there we can understand that fasting itself entails a lot of big, 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 big reward because we don't know exactly what Allah is giving us. Fasting is a shield. You know what is a shield? You know, like those who fight, it's all sort of like an armor. You put an armor around you, it protects you, it shields you from wickedness, from violence, from saying things that is not right, from acting on righteousness, from getting close to zina, removing you from something that is not consistent with what Allah has created you with. So fasting clearly is a shield against hellfire also and against the commission or the commitment of sin. Because if you fast, you, have, you are telling the whole world that you have fortified yourself from anything that will be against uh, the law of Islam. Fasting is what, when you do, you feel comfortable within yourself. 
you yourself, you become so light. You don't become so heavy. Your mind is at the right perspective, sort of to speak like, you know, if you tune your, you know, your, your brain or your mind, it becomes leverage because you don't eat too much. If you eat too much, you're going to become lazy and weak and you go to sleep. But if you fast, you are awake and your brain and your, you know, faculty is intact. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, of all the good deeds, Allah has favored fasting to be greatly rewarded by him and distinguish. Allah has distinguished your fasting with prestige once it is done based upon the dictate that Allah has set upon. So fasting, really, we should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are in this glorious month, that we are about to undertake a very rigorous, you know, educational institution, sort of like a university we are attending. And that university is going to take us just, you know, 29 or 30 days. Once we're done, we're going to graduate. And that graduate is the reward that Allah has given you. So Allah said, wa antasumu khairun lakum in kuntun ta'lamun. If you know the importance, the beauty of fasting, you will hurry, hurry, hurry and go to fast. So my brothers of Islam, that is what I have for you today. My name is Sheikh Muhammad Awo, founder and director of Zaytun Dawa Institute, Seattle, Washington, United States of America. Join me at the same time tomorrow on 100.7 Correct FM for more special Ramadan Da'wa series. Haza billahi tawfiq. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. So really, when we fast, we're just doing justice to ourselves. We're doing good to ourselves. We're not doing anything that is going to be uh, detrimental to ourselves. Fasting is very important in the life of each and every human being as you walk the earth. It detoxify your system. Do you also know that animals also fast? They fast. Most animals, they fast. And that fasting period is called hibernation. We have a lot of animals that hibernate. Hibernating, hibernation is, you know, uh, some animals like bear, like a uh, snake, and so many other, you know, animals, they go into hiding, they go into a cave, and they sleep for three to four months, some even up to six months. What are they doing? They are hibernating. But before they go in the cages to hibernate, they, you know, embed a lot of food. They have a lot of intake. Sometimes they eat to, you know, uh, 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 the weight of their body, twice the weight of their body, so that they will be able to insulate themselves in the hibernation period so hibernation is, uh, is 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 sort of like fasting for animals they needed that that energy if they sleep there is a lot of things that is happening in their system that will change their outlook when they come outside again after the hibernation they feel you know rejuvenated they feel that they have a new spirit injected in their system so fasting is also for animals and then we have the plants and flowers, and trees, and forests, they also fast. Sometimes you see during the winter, most of the western part of the world, you know, the tree kind of leave, kind of let down their flowers. They let it up. Some part of the world, you see the tree, you know, or uh, 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 the, uh, the, you know, um, the, um, the leaf of certain tree becomes brown. Eventually it falls. And sometimes you see certain tree, they don't bear no fruit, certain period. Sometimes you go to the forest and you see that the grass is withering. It's be turning from green to yellow, eventually to brown. That is the period of drought. We call that drought. Rain doesn't also fall because if the rain fall, the vegetation is going to sprout. But rain doesn't fall. And we call that, you know, uh, a sub-Saharan desert area. Unless rainfall comes, the plants do not get vegetation. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't grow. So, so to speak, plants and trees and forests also fast. But their kind of fasting is not the way we fast in. In their own system of being plants and flowers and trees and forests, they have that kind of, uh, you know, fasting period that uh, scientists call drought. That is exactly 
what is happening even within the you know plant kingdom so fasting actually reduces the sexual urge the messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if you fast it reduces you know uh, the the urge or the drive to have a sexual intercourse that is why he also said if any one of you you know uh, does not have the wherewithal to get married you should fast because if you fast it reduces your libido at the same time it makes you close to allah at the same time it makes you to be mindful of breaking the law that allah have set in place that is do not go close to fornication so when you fast it reduces your urge the hormones get lesser and lesser and lesser unless it is being fueled by continuous eating so clearly we can see that a fasting person reduces the urge of uh, you know uh, sexual intercourse and that is very clear within the scientific circle the wisdom of fasting can be seen in sahur it is very important that you wake up in the middle of the night and take your sahur some said i don't want to wake up because if you wake up you have a lot of blessings you get to um, read the Quran. You get to pray with the community. You get to um, you know do your uh, azkar. You get to do a lot of good things, and you get to do the waduha, so uh, the, the the salatul duha, which is very very important. Most people don't do it. So if you wake up in the sahur, you don't have to eat if you don't want to eat, but take something, take some date. It energizes you. We know we have the saccharin, which is part of the energy that is infused in uh, you know date. It's very important that you take the date. If you drink water, water will feel you water is life water will regenerate you because in fasting we don't want you to be you know dehydrated you have to be hydrated so waking up and drinking some water is very essential in your day-to-day -day activities uh, so the wisdom is there just a lot of wisdom we're going to be dealing with that